This is a master list of books you might want if you are getting into witchcraft and the occult. Starting with history. A history of witchcraft, magic, and the occult. This is really a timeline of witchcraft throughout the ages. It ends with chaos, magic, and the chilling adventures of Sabrina. The Occult, Witchcraft, and Magic, an Illustrated History. Similar, but this is about the actual magic and witchcraft itself. Everything from Sumeria to alchemy. The Occult Book, a chronological journey from alchemy to Wicca. This is similar to the first book I showed. Its focus is on the actual history, the time, and the place. Pandemonium, a visual history of demonology. If you're a demonologist and you don't have this book, I don't trust you. No shade. Phantasmagoria, a compendium of monsters, myths, and legends. This is history and lore, everything from mermaids, werewolves, vampires, witches, you name it. Even the Loch Ness Monster. Okay, now the dictionaries. The Dictionary of Demons. Says it all in the title. It's got all the demons in there. If demonology interests you, this is definitely something to pick up. The Divination Dictionary. This is an overview of every type of traditional divination. From geomancy to palm reading to tarot cards. Highly recommended for beginners. The Symbols of the Occult. This book has every symbol you could think of. And then some. Very useful for making sigils. And when you're doing research, you see a symbol, you don't know what it is. Go to this book and you'll find it. Sacred Geometry. This goes through all the shapes, their meanings, as well as some of the history behind them. Very useful when creating seals or sigils. The runes. This is a dictionary or encyclopedia of all the runes and their meanings. I'm told by experts that this is one of the better ones. Practical alchemy. If you actually want to learn alchemy and some of the history, this is the book for you. Great for beginners. The equipment for alchemy is expensive though, so DIY what you can. But there is a lot of useful information in that book. Essential substances. This is about the use of those substances throughout history. This should have been in the little history section I did at the beginning. Palmistry. If you want to learn about palmistry, this book is for you. Great beginner guide. I do wish it was a little more in depth. For modern witchcraft books, The Green Witch. Hexing the Patriarchy, The Door to Witchcraft, and my most recent purchase, The Book of Practical Witchcraft, a Compendium of Spells, Rituals, and Occult Knowledge. Out of these books, I don't care that much for The Green Witch. If I had to choose between these, I would go with The Book of Practical Witchcraft and The Door to Witchcraft. For Kitchen Witchery, Blackthorn's Botanical Brews is basically a bartender's guide to witchcraft. And the Wiccan kitchen is full of recipes. The botanical brews could be a little bit better. Was hoping for something a bit more advanced. But I do like the Wiccan kitchen. And if I had to choose between the two, I would go with the Wiccan kitchen. Now on to folk magic. New world witchery and folk witchcraft. Both of these are great. I don't really have any complaints. Folk Witchcraft is a good crash course to get you started, especially if you're a beginner. New World Witchery is kind of in a league of its own. It kind of reminds me of that big astrology book called The Only Astrology Book You'll Ever Need. If you've been doing this for a while, pick it up. If you're new here, go with Folk Witchcraft, but you should have both of them. And now the herbs. The Encyclopedia of Herbal Medicine. It's a must-have. All about the medicinal properties of herbs. The Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs is all about the magical correspondence of herbs. The Herbal Alchemist Handbook is right at that juxtaposition of science and witchcraft. And if you're a complete beginner, go with the Modern Guide to Magical Herbs. Out of those two, I'm going with the Encyclopedia and Scott Cunningham. More encyclopedias. Mystics, saints, and sages. It lists every single one of them. Encyclopedia of spirits. Fae, deities, gods. I'm pretty sure the Slenderman is in there. Maybe even the Babadook. The Encyclopedia of 5,000 Spells. Okay, this book is not without controversy. It's a good book, but there are spells from closed practices in this book. So if you're going to buy it, please be respectful. And I would not tamper with certain spells. Not my culture, not my practice. Okay, now beginner books that are a little bit dark-sided. The Crooked Path. Um, she's okay. 
Don't love it, don't hate it. Of Blood and Bones is a great book, and this is where you'll find the dark properties of stones and crystals. Botanical Curses and Poisons, these are the Baneful Herbs. The Poison Path, eh. The Complete Book of Black Magic and Witchcraft, also eh. We're getting into Demons, get Demonolatry by S. Connolly. Santa Muerte by Tracy Rollin, if that's something you are called to do. If you're interested in planetary magic, pick up this one. If you're interested in Goetia, I would start with this one. For high magics, I would dive right into Eliphas Levi or start out with Damon Eccles. As for chaos magic, I would start with the Libernol and Psychonaut and then go to hands-on chaos magic.